Back streets, black. Oh my. Oh my God, we're black again. Boom, boom, boom. Brothers, sisters, everybody say, boom, boom, boom. Everybody, yeah. Rock your body, yeah. Am I original? Yeah. Am I bisexual? Am I the only one? Yeah. Is it everything you need? You need to rock your body now. Hey, YouTube. I am back. <laughs> I have been on a little hiatus, haven't I? Uh, seven days down, you guys. Seven days down. I just wanted to apologize quickly um, for me being out. But, you know, life happens. I'm dealing with Maryland weather here, okay? <laughs> so, you know, the sinus weather where you're dealing with the puppy eyes. You know, you're waking up in the morning and you're dealing with the snipplings and the sneezings and the snotty noses. So, this is something that went rampant through my house you know my kids had it i took my kids out of school for two days for i made it to the weekend because actually this weekend starts my children's spring break so i'm very excited about that because we needed this break and so i am feeling a lot better i wanted to come on uh two days ago but my voice was not up to it I had that deep groggy voice. Sound like I was still dealing with my sore throat issues that I had. So it's fine. During that time, I did not maintain my, my rolling 72 water fast. You know, I ate things, but I didn't eat a lot of bad things. A lot of things were okay because i kept in mind that i just lost all this major weight and i wanted to sustain this weight so mainly this week i was just trying to sustain my weight and here it is yes so i've been keeping it there so i was um keep i I kept doing my cucumber water. Sometimes I drank lemon water. And I, you know, when I got hungry, I ate pickles and I had soups and things. And so I tried to stick with it and to keep and maintain what I had while I did not, you know, each day just drink water only so i did not maintain that so my week as far as orange week was not good but we did not move backwards so anytime that you know it's not moving backwards it's pretty good i'm trying to look at the good side of it because that's a week um it's a week down and so now I'm already fast forward. It's April and I am already in to the yellow week. As of the orange week, I laid down the rolling 72. It was wonderful for what it was. I mean, I lost a tremendous amount of weight really quickly. And so we know that towards the middle of my orange week I had started my mm -mm -mm, was my period and so I did collide with some issues during that time where um the it just really slowed up and that was even while I was doing a, a dry fast 
So that was super crazy. I actually watched a video about um, a guy. He was talking about the differences, the differences in how women fast and how men fast. I wasn't even aware there's a difference how women should fast, but there should be because, you know, we have to think about our periods, our cycles and things like that, how that go, comes into play when we fast. And so he brought a lot of information and knowledge to light for me um, so I could understand. And that's probably what he was talking about is what happens during my cycle. But um, it was great. But I'm bringing the Rolling 72 to a close at Orange Week. And so even though like my days of my 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 weeks because of where I've started are thrown off. You know, I'm starting it here. My rules, my game. <laughs> okay. So I'm starting my yellow week here. And so at 140, as of today, I am going on a 40 day water fast. Yes, I am on this 40 day water fast. I will, it'll be a little bit different than what I've done in the past. In the past, I just did straight water, no nothing. And so that's real savage. But now that I come into the knowledge of more things about fasting, um, because this is for weight loss and not spiritual, I'm going to, take in the advice and add more magnesium and you know other vitamins to my water fast not all together but kind of spread out you know through my fast like you know that and potassium and so that's what he was saying that as women, we need to make sure that we put that back into our, our bodies. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also going to keep doing the lemon in my water. Not every day or not all the time, but sometimes during the day, I will put like lemon in my water or cucumber in my water. So I am allowing those things for me on this fast so that I can stay hydrated to keep my my water, you know, fused. And what I like personally about the 40-day wa uh, water fast is that I like the fact of not having to, you know, figure out every three days what I'm going to eat. I didn't like that about the three-day uh, rolling 72s, you know, you get to eat every three days. Some people are like, oh, that, that's, that's great, you know? But for me, I'd rather just actually say no to the whole day. I would rather be like, it's no to everything, right? That's all. Um, so I'm going to continue and we are going to make this mark. Every time I, I think about this fast, I think about making this mark and I think about the movie Armageddon. I've been drilling holes in the earth for 30 years and I have never, never missed a depth that I have aimed for. And by God, I am not going to miss this one. I will make 800 feet. 42 seconds. But I can't do it alone, Colonel. I need your help. You swear on your daughter's life, on my family's, that you can hit that mark. I will make 800 feet. I swear to God I will. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make my mark, right? So I'm excited about doing this. I'm excited to be out of the last week and over the little hump, you know, of that we all got, we got over, me and my kids got over uh, my whole house had it, but we're good and we're over. I was thinking the whole time, I was like, you know what? When you dedicate something to God, expect opposition. <laughs> it wasn't too long 
after I dedicated this fast to God, guess what rose up? But it gets no glory. I overcame. I conquered. And now I'm still on my mission to make my mark. And so it's all good. Now, I'm not going to push myself hard in the exercise area. But I am going to do a small light exercise. And this exercise, um, I found this like a year ago. Well, since then that I found that video and I found it again today, it has like 42 million views. So 42 million people, you know, loving this video. And you may think you're like, this is kind of quirky. And they're Asian people. And I always try to look into what the Asians are doing because they be coming up with some ideas and it's always like there's an easier way to this and these women are doing these aerobics and they're doing like these little motions like these small motions and they're always like you know it's, it's very tiny and you'd be like what kind of difference does these little tiny motions make you know what if you do them rapidly if you do them enough let me tell you something, this will get your body tired, tired real quick. But the motions are very simple. So it's very light. It's something that I can handle. And it's also something that I think that your body can work up to. And the dances are real easy to learn. And so these ladies are extra cute. They are, you can tell, like, when you look at their faces, they're all a ages, like, different ages in there. You know, you got from the young girl that's leading everything all the way up to, you know, older women that are, like, rocking it. And that was motivating to me. I was like, look at mama over there. You know, she was really crunching her little, crunching her stomach and stuff. And I was like, ooh, that's cute. So, I'm going to leave the description to this video in this um box and i'm gonna get on tomorrow i am guys i'm not going to throw out my fumpa and then leave you guys for a, for a whole week by yourselves <laughs> like what happened she flipped out the fumpa and we didn't see her for like a whole week <laughs> i apologize okay so tomorrow i am getting on and because I want to take my measurements, I'm going to take my measurements so that I can um, see like within 20 days of me doing this workout out every day to see if I lose any inches. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. I am going to write down on a sheet of paper bible says write it down make it plain there's nothing you write what you want down i'm writing down my ideal measurements and my ideal weight so when i come back tomorrow i'm going to put those in the envelope write it down i'm going to send it in the mail i'm going to send it to my mom and when it gets time um for me to you know get down to the weight that I, I get to I'm gonna have her send it back so that it can have that same piece of mail can have postmarks and everything right and then I'm going to see if what I've been you know thinking of and creating in my my mind in myself actually work will I fit the measurements that I was believing and having faith in. Now, a lot of people may think this is interesting or weird, but if you truly knew that your thoughts are creating your reality, who knew, right? Yeah, I came into the knowledge about that probably like a couple of years ago. I was like, okay. So that's why I got into the whole thing about learning how to control my thoughts. 
I'm using my thoughts and I'm writing down this body size that I desire because I actually believe that we can have what we uh, want on this earth if we have the right desire and we have the right intentions, okay? Because the Bible even says that. It says you have not. Why not? Because you ask not. Well, well, I asked and I didn't get it. Well, the next one is because you have wrong intentions. And yes, I'll end my video here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, subscribe, stay with me. I'm, I'm doing this, okay? <laughs>